Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial and we are back with another play and review type of day. What you see here, we have another monster day covering or coming in at 34% return on investment. This is leading already a very powerful week and since the beginning of last week, we're up 103% and this is the big number right here. A month, we're up 227%. We are continuing our rise from the ashes. So that being said, I do want to highlight some of the capabilities here, the trades I am making. I have been walking through all of my trades. You are more than welcome to copy them and follow through. The key advantage here is that we are going slow and steady. We are taking profits, not holding for the long term, but we are biting long, buying long term. And then what I've done today is I've actually rotated more of those profits into that Bank of America holding. I now have 100 shares, so I'm going to stop holding that. One thing I do want to highlight is this video is going to be walking through the plays that I made last week coming into this week to set this up, as well as the plays that I'm going to be watching for the remainder of this week. I do anticipate that I'm going to release another video either later this evening or early tomorrow describing some of the economic data that's coming out this week and how that can impact these trades. So without further ado, if you like this type of content, you're looking to have 20 to 30% return on investment days, then please hit that like button below and give me a subscribe. Thanks. So let's dive into what we did today. As you can see over here on the right hand side, what is sorely lacking, which I've been talking about for the better part of the past week, is Zillow stock. So if we look at Zillow, this is a trade that we made early last week and we were benefiting from all today. So the actual sell point, if we look at what we bought today, is I bought in for calls, $65 calls, and this is following our 717 calls that we profited from, is we bought in at the 72 calls at $500, and this was done on Friday. The reason for that is because everything was kind of selling off on Thursday of last week, and we wanted to buy in on Friday. We saw a lot of upside potential, and I know that Zillow is a big mover, which is one of the reasons why they have expensive contracts. So you can see that $1.25 per share. And then throughout the day, what I started doing, because they just kept going up and up and up, is I started buying, or rather selling off to capture some of those gains. So that 125 into 170, that 125 into 185, and then when they popped back down a little bit, I went back into selling that 185. That was after this hike right here. And then we had some big news here at, coming into the middle of the day. And I'll talk about this in that other video, is that the Fed came out and said that we are going to be purchasing corporate credit for individual bonds. And this is, again, another reference to where they are saying, hey, we will support the financial markets no matter what. So the market really liked that, and that same option is actually a little bit higher, although I don't think by much at this point in time, that $65 call, it's 180. So my 185 actually was higher than what it ended up closing out on. So that was the first big play of the day. The other one is as I did buy NVIDIA this morning at 370, and it kept going up and up and up. So I bought around here. It spiked up later on in the morning. And then what I did to capture those profits as well as I wanted some more cash on hand is I sold another call. So what that did is it limited my maximum profit, but it also locked in those gains. So I believe I sold this at, was it 510, 515? So 515. So what I may do tomorrow, depending on what the stock shows up with, is I may sell this or rather buy it back and see if I can ride that call depending on what it's going to do. So NVIDIA is a big mover. They have some incredibly expensive options here. So this is for just this week. For me to say that it's going to be going over $370, i am going to have to pay $600. And it has the capability to do so. But when I looked earlier today for some longer term, I mean, look at just July 17th, which has been the date I've been picking on. We're looking at a nearly two thousand dollar move is that you've got to pay for this so that's why i trade nvidia pretty often on the weekly i mean if you look at them over the past month they've really been trading in this range of really 350 to 360 and then they had that breakout in the 370 and i think they're going to push forward again this week really going to be depending on that economic news but this is a tech stock and they've continued to perform very well 
So as you can see, we've got that total return of 265. I don't know if we are going to hold on to this play for throughout the end of the week, even though that will have me locked in at a, I believe this is going to be a 200 and depending on what this ends up, be around a $225 total profit possible. I'll need to look at the options calculator to figure that out. Or I may be able to buy this back tomorrow, which right now I do at a $10 profit. Although that means I'd have to open up some cash elsewhere to do so. And that means Nvidia has to continue to run tomorrow. You gotta remember we're still not in the money yet for this one. So that is how we made really $205 right there. The Zillow was the big one. And then JP Morgan was the one that really shot up today. Now this is following that announcement from the Fed that this is gonna jump up. I had no idea that was going to happen, but I did buy around 130. The reason for that is because look at when I purchased this. So the reason that I made this purchase is because tomorrow the Federal Reserve is announcing their regulatory stress test findings. And the reason that this is gonna be important is because they are going to essentially say, are banks able to provide dividends at this point in time? And you saw what happened to all the stocks that said we're cutting our dividends as they dropped. They lost that faith of their investors. And I anticipate that the stress test tomorrow is going to come out and say these banks have adequate capital to provide and continue providing their dividends. And that is because they are very highly capitalized. So I don't anticipate any reason that JP Morgan is not going to issue a dividend. And that's echoing Jamie Dimon, their CEO, who is very optimistic and said that their dividend payment is but a drop in the bucket when it comes to their total capital. So I purchased that here with the expectation they would go up to tomorrow. And now you can see that we've got all the way up to 164 at the close. So that is super exciting. We're looking at a 50% return on investment now. The question that I'm looking at is, do I want to sell tomorrow or do I want to see if I can hold this out? Personally, I don't anticipate them to get back to the 135 range. However, that 115 may not be too far off, particularly when they were almost there just a short time ago. So that's what I'm going to be watching for them. That would be a huge move, but we've got time on it. So I'll be watching this. I think if I hit that 100% that return, I may pull out. It depends on what the mo movement is, as well as the overnight trading. My next metaphorical or I guess psychological barrier is going to be that $4,000 mark. So if we hit that sometime tomorrow, I'll probably take my gains and be looking to expand some of my stock positions. I don't have a lot of cash on hand. So if I'm going to be making a move or take advantage of a day trade, I am going to have to free up some cash. So I may do a spread right here, similar to what I did with Nvidia and open that up a little bit. And one that I haven't explained today is I did the same thing with Intel just so that you can see my equity in these positions. You can see that Intel is really not a big deal in terms of the total value. I think I'm going to lose on this one unless they really shoot up by the end of the week. But this is going to be a potential play. Let's see what Intel could be. So we've got some momentum into the end of the day. I will make a lot of money or I say a lot. I believe it's limited at probably 50 or so dollar profit. If we go in, no, because this is eight contracts. So I may be able to pull in, I don't know, it may be right at 50 to $100 if this does finish above $63, but I'm not optimistic on that. So that one's probably going to be a loss, the Intel play. But as you can see, the bulk of this is just tied into NVIDIA and now JP Morgan. With JP Morgan, that's going to be the big mover, the one that we really want to be watching. And then I rotated once again into the Bank of America play because I think for the same reason that they're going to be benefiting from JP Morgan's statement, I think that they're going to benefit as well. The difference is Bank of America trades at $25.22 and they're just not nearly as big of a mover. I mean, if you look at JP Morgan over the course of the past three months, they've got some bigger moves here. And so that's why I'm going to be watching them for this particular trade. So that is the down and dirty of what I did today. What I'm looking at for the remainder of the week is I may be trying to get out of the NVIDIA spread. It depends on what the pricing looks like tomorrow morning and overnight trading. I'm going to ride the JPM call through the Fed comments tomorrow as well as just what we're expecting from those Fed Reserve stress tests. 
and that's what I'm looking at for those two plays there. Those are my big ones, and again, that'll free up probably right at $1,200 of cash, depending on what happens with those trades. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Those are the big ones. Keep a watch on infrastructure. That's what I'm going to be looking at as well as these tech stocks they're going to continue to rotate so that's what i did today that's what i'm looking at for the remainder of this week let me know in the comments below what you are looking for and if you're going to be making any trades particularly on the options side and if you found this content helpful please leave a like and subscribe thanks everyone talk to you later bye